welcome back to my channel and long time no see because the last time i uploaded was like two weeks ago but i feel like that's not as bad as it usually is because sometimes it'll be a whole month but i'm trying to stay consistent before school starts so in this video i want to talk about ways for people to become comfortable wearing their natural hair ever since i became natural i only expose myself to like good representation of natural hair i wouldn't watch any content of women that did not look like me or women that weren't trying to achieve the same hairstyle as me and i wouldn't watch any like biased videos about how people think is ugly or anything i literally only brainwashed myself with good things so i never felt like self-conscious wearing my hair like me wearing an afro has been like my staple hairstyle since i was like 17 years old and i'm 22 now so i've been natural since i was like 16. actually no it's been a staple hairstyle of mine since i was 16 and i wore my afro at all lengths from the twa to whatever this length would be categorized but i'll say one of the first steps that you should take is realizing that when people project on you and say that they don't like your hair they think kink your hair is ugly blah 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 that they are solely projecting on you it is nothing ugly about our hair literally nothing ugly about our hair society projects on you and typically it is other people in our community so they're projecting because of what they're used to seeing and because they're not comfortable with their hair so when someone tells you that stuff just let it brush off because they're literally projecting because nine times out of 10, they're not comfortable with their natural hair either. They're not comfortable with their hair either. So just keep that in mind if someone's projecting on you literally about anything. Step number two, I would only follow and watch people with your hair type. I feel like since texturism is a thing and a lot of people with kinkier hair textures tend to like um, drool over people with looser hair textures like in their comment section saying that my type four could never blah, 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 blah. Don't expose yourself to it until you are ready to see that like another hair texture isn't superior to yours. Follow people that have your hair texture, your skin complexion, and they can do hairstyles that are achievable for your hair. Because that'll help you out a lot once you have that great representation. Another step that I did, um, I would listen to a lot of music or watch like a lot of music videos that made me feel proud to wear my natural hair. Especially when I was in high school because... I was brave. I just big chopped in my TWA stage as a sophomore in high school. And we all know how high school can be. So I had people saying that I look like Aunt Jemima or I had like slave hair and stuff. But literally the comments just blew off of me because once you educate yourself on texturism and colorism, but specifically texturism for this subject, you'll know that this thought process and this thought pattern has been engraved in us since like slave times because back i really wish that everyone could like pause this video and go watch 400 years without a comb and come back because it'll show you exactly why we have these biases about natural hair today i really hate when people try to gaslight us and say that it's all in our heads because it's truly not all in our heads at all so i will put a link of that documentary um in the description i would definitely go and watch 400 years without a comb so you can see the origins of why people think like this so when people have things to say about your choices and what you decide to do with your hair you can understand what type of mindset that they're in also on top of the documentary some music videos that i really like i love formation by beyonce um just and it's this other song i really wish i could remember the artist but i'm going to look up the lyrics and then when i find it i'm going to put it in the description box but it was this black man he was rapping about all the different types of natural hairstyles and stuff and i liked how in his music video he included all shades of black women and all textures of black women i love videos like that because it makes me feel seen and formation made me feel seen because they had afros and stuff like things that are similar to my hair texture I love to watch those music videos because I see how beautiful that they look and I'm like, wow, I have hair like them. So literally brainwash yourself with that. 
And another thing, just wearing your hair out like a shock. And I know that it's scary because of literally, you can be treated differently with um, natural hair because I remember how people would think that like me wearing my natural hair was like such of like a political statement or whatever, blah, 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 blah. But honestly, I just let it brush off. And that's another thing. Uh, it makes me upset that a lot of people think wearing an afro is a political statement because the only time our community really wore afros out like as a whole was maybe during like the pro-black movements and stuff. So people tend to think it's like a political statement, but you can literally just think of it as you're just wearing out your hair how it's supposed to be. Also finding like, um, I personally, I follow a lot of, um, like African American archive pages and like retro pre um retro pages of African Americans and I would see like people from the 70s wearing their afro out and stuff um and I would just realize that those women are so beautiful like what's some examples like Pam Greer like a comment that I got the other day was that someone said that I could have fooled them for Pam Greer because of my hair. But once you realize like how beautiful those women were, I flipped it from like maybe a possible insult to like a compliment because Pam Greer was that girl and still is that girl. So I would, um, cause it's this one Instagram page called Retro King something. And I'll also include that in the description box. But I feel like you should expose yourself to things like that and follow women that post natural hair tutorials and stuff so you can see how comfortable they are wearing their hair and that can inspire you. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.